All right, ladies and gentlemen and programmers, we're going to do lesson 10, part 7, the break and the continue code. All right, so um, write this in the top of your notes, write your name, and then get your notes signed off after you ask your intelligent question. Speaking of intelligent questions, make sure that you come to lesson seven, uh, 10, part 7, and you're going to read about break and continue. So read all this, read all this. Read all this. So you can skip the AP stuff. All right. So read all that and then write down your intelligent question. And then look and see what we are going to do in the spiel, which is you're going to write down, answer this question. What's the difference between break and continue? If you don't know the answer, ask me. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up an old project 9.7 in JDoodle and we're going to save it as 10.7. And then we're going to add. Um, we're going to make sure we have Java programming to our, we're going to add that to our array list. Okay. And then we're going to use a for loop with a break statement that will print out all of the hobbies in the array list, but break once you get to Java programming. And then we're going to use a while loop with a continue statement that will print out all of the hobbies in the array list, but skip Java programming. All right. So let's jump over here to our JDoodle. And so you should have something that looks like this. And you're going to save it as 10.7. So you're going to say uh, save as 10.7. Let's see if I already did. Oh, I already did. So I'm just going to hit save. But you make sure you hit save as. Okay. All right. So now the idea is we're going to add a, on this for, first one, we're going to add a for loop. So here we are. We have our, we always look to see where we are. Here's our main method from there to there. So anyway, we're good to put it right here. So we're going to add our for loop. So we're going to say for int. You should probably try, by the way, you should try to do this on your own without my help. But, so try it first. If you need, need me, then watch this video. But stop watching this video and try to do it on your own. So you're going to say for int i equals zero semicolon and you're going to say i is less than uh we're going to say we're going to do my hobbies so we'll just copy this so i is less than my hobbies dot size parentheses parentheses semicolon and then we have to increment i so i plus plus Okay, something like that. So we have the beginnings of our loop here. And so then we're going to go ahead and op do our opening curly brace. Hit enter. It should automatically add our closing curly brace. All right, so we're good. So now the idea is we're going to step through each element in our array list. And we're going to print, print, print. But when we get to Java programming, it's going to kick us out. Okay. So let's just start off with the print. So we're going to say, we're going to say, System dot out dot print line, and we're gonna print uh, my hobby dot get, and then we're gonna get i. So we're gonna go through each. We're gonna go through zero, one, two, three, four, and print those. Don't forget our semicolon, and let's hit execute and see what happens. And it goes out and goes through all, each of the elements in the array list and prints them out. All right, so now let's modify it with our for with our uh, if statement. So we're going to say if um, my hobby dot, dot get i. So we're going to evaluate that, and if, if it's equal to Java programming. Is equal to Java programming. Well, what do we want to do? We want to have our opening, and there's our closing for the brace. We want to break, so we're going to break out of the loop. Okay, and so what's going to happen is, if it's not equal to Java programming, it's going to skip this and then just go out and print it. But as soon as it equals Java programming, it's going to break us out of the loop. So if I did this right, it should just say. Uh, Back backing. That should be backpacking. That should be backpacking and camping. All right. So let's hit execute and see what it does. 
and indeed it did, did what we thought it should do to backpacking camp. All right, let's, so we got that. So let's save our changes there. Okay. So now, all right. So now let's jump back to our spiel and see what's next on the agenda. Okay. So now we're going to use a while loop, so a different kind of loop, and and we're going to use the the skip. Okay. We're gonna use skip. All right, let's see what let's see if we can figure that one out. I mean, let's see if I can do this one. All right, so let's jump back here. So let's let's go right. Um, so we want to be done with our. So there's our for loop starts and ends there. So we're gonna go right here. So we're gonna say. Um, so now we're gonna say int i i equals zero, and we're gonna say while I is while uh, it should be I I is less than my hobbies dot size and so then we're gonna open open up our our while loop okay so and then we're gonna do our if I think we'll just copy this whole thing. So we'll just copy all this. We're going to stick it right inside our while loop. Okay, but the difference is going to be if, so instead of breaking, we're going to continue. Okay. And let's see what happens. So it should skip programming and do the other ones. Let's see what happens. And I got a bunch of error messages because I doesn't exist there. So I need to come back up here and change that to uh, this all has to be I, 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 I. Oh, and you know what? I didn't do, I didn't do my, I didn't do my I plus uh, plus. I had an infinite loop again. Oh my goodness. I plus plus semi on the shoot. All right, so let's execute that. See what happens. All right, I did it again. Apparently, on line twenty-five. Yeah, done, done. All right, so it has to be i i plus plus. All right, let's execute that. Okay, so if you look at our results, it didn't really do what we had expected. So it's backpacking camping, which is what we wanted. But on the second one, it was supposed to just uh, skip Java programming. So if you look at it, it was supposed to just skip Java programming and then do homebrewing and adventure motorcycling. So what went wrong? Well, the problem was is because of the way that the while loop, in loop increments, it only increments right here. So it kept doing the same element over and over again. So what we have to do is we have to add um, we have to add an i plus i i plus plus i i plus plus right here, um, and so that it'll increment if it so if it indeed hits Java programming it'll still increment. So if we try that and we execute, so it's like. It's still running because it was in an infinite loop. Let us try it now. Okay, so you can see now that it did backpacking camping, skipped Java programming. Did. All right, so we got it. So we got it. So we got it. Excellent. All right, so let's jump back to our spiel. Um, okay. Yep, we did it. All right, so now let's go ahead and complete part six and move on to seven, or pardon me. Complete part seven and move on to eight. Let's jump over to our Code Academy and let's. If you guys want to do it on your own, great. If you want me to help you, I will help you. So let's do it together here. All right. What does it want us to do? Take a look at the for loop in the code. Okay. It starts its iteration at zero and continues to iterate until i is less than one hundred. Okay. 
inside the loop create a condition that checks if i is not divisible by five okay all right so we're going to hit enter here and we're going to say if and then we're going to say i okay so if so if we're checking to see if it's divisible by five we use the percent symbol so if basically if i if the number um divided by five if the remainder is so we have to look at this and see if it's equal equal to zero or not equal to zero my brain's having trouble figuring that out at the moment all right so we have our if and then we're gonna hit enter so if if it is, then we're going to, um, if it is, we're going to continue. Okay. And then otherwise, we're going to hit enter. We're going to go outside of our loop and we're going to say system.out.line and we're going to print i. Okay. And so let's see what happens. So if we hit run, okay, so it's going to print every one two three four so it's skipping five okay so we did the opposite of what we were supposed to so we're instead of that we're going to say not equal oops we're going to say not equal to and then we're going to hit run and it should five yeah right that's what it wanted the only number should be printed are those visible. okay so that's basically what you wanted all right so we got that all right let's hit